Stand by for Titanfall. Hey guys, what's going on? Bad Twin Turbo here, and today got another episode for you of Titanfall Gun Potential. And today we're going to be talking about the G2A4 rifle. Now, the gameplay that you're seeing is me on Lagoon, one of the more open maps in this game, and I'd have to say that this gun definitely excels in those open maps like this because this gun is more of a precision weapon it's gonna act like you know that mark 14 in call of duty and it's just you it's perfect for staying away from the enemy and getting those long distance shots because this gun does have a high damage and its accuracy is extremely well with this gun so uh, I'm gonna, I got two recommended classes for you guys. Uh, one's going to be for range and one's going to be for close quarters combat. But before I start that up, let's just go over the quick stats. And this gun's damage does a max damage of 99 and it drops all the way off to 66 at its min. And you guys got to remember that the pilots have 200 points of health instead of just a normal 100 that we're all used to in Call of Duty. Its magazine size is 14 and if you slap on extended mags it bumps it up to 18 and if you throw on the match trigger attachment it actually decreases it and drops your magazine size to 8 which I do not recommend. Also its rate of fire is at 420 RPMs and again did some quick math not 100% sure this is probably wrong but I'm going to just take a guess and that the RPMs with the match trigger attachment is going to be right around 720 rpms again i'll fix it with an annotation over top of it if i mess up but that's just my guess now that the quick stats are done and over with let's just go ahead and talk about the recommended classes that i have for you guys now the first one that i have on screen I'll go over that in a second but this first one is going to be for close quarters combat and that's going to be the HCOG and the suppressor. The reason for this is, I mean, the iron sights are, are fine for this, but you know, get that HCOG on there, get a little bit better precision because this gun is very accurate. And also the suppressor, because you are going to be in close quarters combat, you're going to want to stay off the radar because your magazine size is so low. You want to make sure that you stay off the radar and not draw any attention so you have time to reload and get away. So that is for the close quarters combat. For this next setup that I have is obviously the one that I am playing with on screen here and that is going to be using the AOG sight and extended mags. The reason I use the AOG sight obviously you have more zoom and it's better for those long distance shots and obviously the extended mags just because uh, my other two attachments are match trigger and suppressor and I want to stay away from the suppressor because it hurts your damage over range so that's not good because this is for those long distance shots and also stay away from that match trigger just because uh, it'll decrease your ammo count and it'll also uh, decrease your accuracy and like I said from the beginning this gun is for those precision shots so you want to stay on target as much as you can even though you can shoot the gun much faster uh, it just it really isn't a good attachment for those long range shots but there you guys have it those are the classes that I have set up for you guys also along with those stats and to be honest with you this gun isn't one of my favorite guns I'm not one of those players that likes to sit back and kind of wait for the enemy I like to get up into their spawn and just uh, rush 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 so uh, this gun definitely is not for me but it might be for you if that's how you play but if you're a rusher like me I would uh, recommend staying just staying away from this gun in general but you guys got what you needed to know for this gun and uh yeah go ahead and leave a like or comment below uh let me know what you think that would really help me out and um yeah that is all i really have for you guys uh i appreciate you guys sticking around to the end and make sure to check out one of the other videos on screen if you have not seen them yet and like i said my name is bad twin turbo and i'll catch you guys later